The next person, I'd like to introduce her as a fashion model, but uh, I think she holds a, a bigger portfolio than that here for us. So ladies and gentlemen, our dear friend and the Honorable Mayor of the City of Irving, Mr. Beth Van Dyne. She's a fa fashion model, doesn't she look like one? Come on, I wasn't wrong. We've had her, you know, I have had her, I'm going to break the secret here in front of everybody. I've had her do, a, be a showstopper in one of our uh, Indian fashion shows. Believe me, she looked gorgeous. She was wearing an Indian outfit and she looked absolutely amazing. Not a fashion model, but I very much appreciate the, uh, <laughs> so sweet. Every single time I'm around her, she always makes me feel so good. This has been a long journey for all of you. Um, I am very proud to be the mayor of the city of Irving, but more importantly, I am very proud that I represent such a diverse community of people. You are sitting right now in the middle of the most diverse zip code in the country. Most diverse. We represent people from all cultures, backgrounds, religions, but the testament that you are willing to come to the city and offer to build this statue, donate this statue to the city, and put it in such a prevalent park, to me is a testament not only to your perseverance, but to what it means to be a citizen of the city of Irving. And I want to thank all of you, Prasad, you have been fantastic to work with. It is, it is very humbling to be here on the stage with Governor Haley about to speak. Thank you for all of your leadership. She was in town just a couple of months ago for a dinner, uh, and you did a fantastic job. You really do epitomize, I think, what not only strong leaders need to show, but also especially for our young women. You are a fantastic role model, and thank you very much for being here today. Part of, I, I hope, the desire to put the statue here is that we are representing and recognizing the history and the roots in which we're from. And by creating this project in our city, you have actually created history, possibly without knowing it. I know the people who have worked on it know that. But you created an entire policy. Mayor Herbert Gears was here when this was first brought forward and was very supportive. And when I got elected, this was actually one of the first meetings that I was uh, that was requested of me to attend was to hear about the statue and your desire to put it in this in this park. And I was told the previous mayor supported it. Do we have your support? And the first question that I asked was, "Tell me the relevance. Tell me the importance." And without missing a beat, they were able to do that. And then, of course, you get asked about the financial question. And this is a group that was willing to pay for the statue to pay for the drawings, and to really work through our system, which as a government system, and, and Governor, support me on this, can be complex at times. But you are willing to do all of that for years. We have created a brand new policy, and I am hoping that this is one of many to come in the city of Irving. You have done wonderful work for your community. I appreciate every one of you being here today. And I appreciate all the support that you bestow on North Texas, on Texas, the United States, but especially the city of Irving. Congratulations on a fantastic day. Thank you for all your hard work.